Then you toss it before you serve it. So it's really crispy, crunchy. And now you're tossing it with the leftover marinade that I added in about one tablespoon of ginger. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Some uh, anatta powder or chuari powder, just for color, guys. Optional. All right, just pound of smelt. We're going to marinate. We're going to marinate this for about 10 minutes. All right, just keep tossing it, making sure that um, one half cup cornstarch that I'm putting into a mixing bowl. I'm using um, seasoned salt, guys, but uh, you can use just regular salt. I'm used, I'm um, adding about half a teaspoon. And of course, lots of ground pepper. I added the smelt and I'm now tossing it with the cornstarch, making sure the smelt is covered by the cornstarch. After preheating one cup of cooking oil in a big Dutch oven like this, immediately add your smelt. Make sure your oil is hot, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, otherwise your smelt will not be crispy. small saucepan I am putting back the leftover marinade also adding one half cup of chicken broth or any vegetable broth whatever broth you have this is the leftover cornstarch um, that we uh, use in tossing the uh, smelt with I'm gonna be um, getting maybe half a tablespoon here and I'm gonna dissolve it with um, the broth on the side and I will put it I am slowly adding the curry mixture into the boiling leftover marinade stir and then turn up the heat and you're done before you serve it so it's really crispy crunchy and now you're tossing it with the leftover marinade that I added a, a tablespoon of curry powder just really really nice a little bit spicy guys tiny bit um, sweet but it's worth a try Everybody, I hope you enjoyed the cooking video that I just posted until the next dish all right thank you for always commenting giving me positive comments and pressing the like and sharing the videos that I post dito sa Facebook page sa aking YouTube channel at sa Instagram marami pong salamat until the next dish all right bye everybody